Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this Lightroom tutorial, I want to show you how white balance is the single most important editing tool inside of Lightroom. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, so chances are that white balance is something that you're already thinking about and using in your photography, but I don't know if you really realize how important it is when it comes to your final photo. For example, this photo has a preset applied already, and it looks like, well, garbage, right? It looks totally weird. The skin tones are off. The wall is just weirdly desaturated. Things look awful in this photo. But watch what happens when I just take my temperature and I turn it up just a little bit, okay? We turned it up just a tiny little bit, and all of a sudden the photo looks, well, pretty normal, right? Now let's go over to another one like this. Again, we've got a preset applied here, and it looks like garbage. Now your first impression might be, oh, this preset must be awful. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just the white balance. Let's take our white balance and let's drag it down here until we get somewhere a little bit more normal. Lower our exposure just a little bit. And take our tint up. Maybe add a little contrast. And bam, our photo all of a sudden looks pretty normal. Now I'm not going to advocate for this photo receiving an award. It's still really bad lighting, really high contrast, really strange mix. We've got tungsten on her, and that's why all of this looks so blue. But you see the difference from before and after. If we back up here, here's before, here's after. And all we really did was change our white balance and a little bit of contrast, a little bit of exposure. So I just wanted to point that out to you. It might not be your presets that aren't working when you're actually applying them to your images and you just give up. It could be that you just aren't quite getting the white balance right. And the reason I say that is because if you use Lightroom's auto white balance tool here, look how far out auto white balance is in this image. It's completely off, completely nonsense. Now, luckily this camera, the as shot white balance was a little bit more accurate here, but it's still completely off. You're going to get a very um, poor result if that's all you're doing is just using the auto white balance and hoping that it gets it right. So make sure that you're paying attention to white balance because honestly, it affects your photo, the way that the colors are interpreted, the way that the shadows and the highlights work. Absolutely everything is affected by your white balance. And then the rest of this is just sorting things out after that. So make sure you get this right. If you don't get it right, your whole image, no matter what you do, you're going to be fighting. So I hope this tip was helpful for you. If you have any tricks for getting that white balance dialed in properly, please leave them in the comments below. Honestly, for me, it's been a process over the years as I edit more and more photos. I get a sense more of what the color of the photo should have looked like. And a helpful tip that I can offer you is just hit the reset button. Or if you're using Lightroom and you're a keyboard shortcut guy, you can use the backslash key, at least on a Mac. And it will show you the before and after. Of course, mine isn't working right now. But you can kind of get a better idea most of the time of what the color was meant to look like by just hitting that reset button or the backslash key and then going back and kind of dialing things in from there. So I can see that obviously it's way too cold. I need to warm it up, lower the exposure a little bit on his skin. And all of a sudden, my white balance is much more accurate. So that is my number one tip for that. You can also use the eyedrop tool. But again, if Lightroom didn't get it with the auto white balance setting, chances are just using the eyedrop tool isn't going to work for you. However, in this situation, we take a eyedrop of something gray in the image, something that's supposed to be colorless, and then Lightroom will automatically set the white balance according to that. Now, if I use something like her dress, you'll see that it'll go a little bit further out because it's compensating. Or this table back here, which is much more blue. But that's another trick that you can use for the white balance. But my encouragement would just be to continue to practice this. And whenever you have a preset that just doesn't seem to be working, try the white balance first. That should be your first point of contact, then your exposure and your contrast, dial those in, and most of the time you'll get a far better result after a little bit of tweaking. So if this was helpful for you, please hit that like button for me. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have suggestions or tips for finding a perfect white balance. Subscribe if you want more videos like this, more tutorials, resources, and freebies for your photography business. All right, I will see you in the next video. Peace.